Welcome back to part four. Let's fly together to Never Never Land. Round 47, using color J, we will start in any of the chain two corner spaces from the last round, round 46 of part three. We'll start with two treble crochets. We can yarn over twice and into that chain two space we'll make two trebles. So there's one, two trebles, chain two and then we're going to make two more trebles but for this next treble we want to pick up the back bump of that chain one space at the top of the flame so if we remove our marker yarn over twice so the top chain and the back bump we want to insert from above and through that back bump. Oops. And then into the chain two loop and pull your yarn up through and then yarn over pull through two twice. And then we'll make that next treble back in that chain two space. So two treble, pack, picking up the back bump of the chain at the top of the flame for the third treble and then a fourth treble with the chain two in between the two sets of two. So that is our corner. We'll skip the first stitch which is slightly hidden by our corner and treble in the next two stitches. So one and two treble and double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two and three double crochet. Chain two skip two stitches and double crochet in the next six. One, two, so we've worked our three double crochet. We're going to make a fourth double crochet and we want to work in this marked stitch at the top of the flame in the chain one but on the back bump of that chain. So you can use your hook to find that back bump and insert through the back bump of the chain and then into the next stitch. Be careful, we've already worked that stitch. So here's my next stitch. Pull the loop through both the stitch and that loop, the back bump of the chain, and then yarn over and pull through two twice to finish that double crochet. And then we will work in the next two stitches for that total of six double crochet in a row. So we'll repeat that again, so chain two, skip two stitches, double crochet in three, one, two, and three. So that third one should be the first of the set that's in the chain space. We'll yarn over, grab that back bump from the chain at the top of the flame where we marked our stitch, and then going into the next stitch, then we'll pull that yarn through both the stitch and the back bump of the chain. Yarn over, pull through two. So that's our fourth double crochet, then double crochet in the next two stitches. So we'll repeat that a total of ten times. So we have two of them done where we chain two, skip two, double crochet in six, and on that fourth one we grab the back bump of the chain. So I know mine is black and it's very hard to see. So I'm just going to make a few chains right here. So what we're looking for at the top of that flame, when we turn that chain over, we have that extra loop or what we call the back bump of the chain. So that's what we're finding 
at the top of each of the flame to work into. So you can continue to repeat this for the total of 10 repeats down the side and I'll meet you after our 10th repeat. So I finished my 10th repeat here. We are going to chain two and skip two again. One, two, and then double crochet in the next three. So one, two, and three double crochet, which should leave us with two stitches left before that corner space. So we'll treble crochet in each of those next two. One and two trebles. And then we're ready to start again with our corner. So remember our corner started with the two treble crochet in that chain two space. One and two. Then chain two, we'll make two more trebles, but on this next one, we want to grab that back loop of the chain one at the top of the flame. Oops, I forgot to yarn over first. And into that corner space to pull that loop through and finish our treble and one more treble in that chain two corner space. Okay, so the tops of all of our flames will be secured as we work this um, round. So each side should have a total of 96 stitches. So that'll be eight of the treble crochet, 66 doubles, and 11 of those chain two spaces plus the chain two in the corner. So you can go ahead and work your way around all sides and I'll meet you just before we join at the end of this round and feel free to remove your markers as we work by each of those flames. So on the final side after those 10 repeats we'll chain two, skip two, work our three double crochet and then we need to place those trebles in each of the last two stitches. So one and two treble crochet at the end of our last side and then we can go ahead and join with a slip stitch to our starting stitch. Round 48 using color H, we're going to work in the two skipped half double crochet of round 46 and behind round 47, skipping all other stitches. So we're going to start in the second pair of skipped stitches. So here's our corner, first set, second set of the skipped stitches. So we're going to start with a half double crochet in the first of this pair or set or the first half double crochet and the second half double crochet of this second set of skipped half double crochet past any corner. So starting with the two half double crochet. Chain 14 loosely. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen loose chains. We'll skip this next set of half double crochet and then working into the next set we will work those two half double crochet. And then chain 14 loosely again. So we're going to repeat that, the two half double crochet, chain 14 for a total of five times, making sure that we're skipping 
that set or that one space in between. So you can go ahead and work those five repeats. So as you've worked your way down that first side after that fifth repeat, we should be close to the corner. So we're going to work a front post slip stitch behind this flame from round 45. So that's my green round. And you'll see that single crochet in the corner behind the flame. So I fold it over the other rounds. We're going to insert our hook from the front to the back around behind that single crochet. Pull the yarn through and through the loop on the hook for that front post slip stitch. And then we'll chain 14 loosely again. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And then working down the side again, skipping that first set of missed stitches and working into the second set from behind, half double crochet in each of those two skipped half double crochets. So you can continue to work that all the way around and I'll meet you just before the end of this round. When you've come to the end of your final side you'll have worked that front post slip stitch around that corner single crochet of round 45 and chain 14 and then skipping that first set of half double crochet we will find our opening set from this round and we can join to the top of that one to finish off round 48. Round 49 we're going to use color D and we will be working into the two of those skip stitches that we didn't use last round. So we're going to find that first set past any of our corners and we're going to be working behind round 47 but in front of round 48. So we'll make a double crochet in each of these two skip stitches. So I'm folding 47 to the front out of the way and 48 kind of to the back for right now. So we'll make a double crochet in each of those two skipped stitches. But on the second one, we want to as well put our hook underneath that chain 14 from last round. So that becomes enclosed in our stitch to secure that chain 14. So the two double crochet on the second one, we work over the chain 14 as well. And we will chain 14 loosely again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen loose chain. Okay, and then missing or skipping where we worked those two half double crochet last round, and finding that next set of unworked two stitches, working behind again, double crochet in that first stitch, and then we'll double crochet in the next one, and putting our hook under that chain 14 from last round as well, and finishing those two double crochet. Chain 14 loosely again, and so on. So you'll repeat that four times down the side and I'll meet you just before the corner. Okay, so we've repeated four times and with our starting set that should be five sets that we've worked down the side. There should be one set of those missed stitches left so we will double crochet in each of those. One and on the second one being careful to enclose that chain 14 as well from last round. So two double crochet there. Chain seven now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll work a slip stitch in the top of that 
front post to slip stitch that we did last round around that corner single crochet of round 45. So slip stitch in the top of the front post slip stitch. Chain 7, and then ready to work down the sides again with those two double crochet in those missed stitches. And closing the chain 14 from last round and then chaining 14 loosely in between. So you can continue to work that all the way around and again I'll meet you back at the end of this round. So after you've worked your final side you'll have done the chain 7 loosely slip stitch to the top of that front post slip stitch from last round, chain 7 loosely again and then we're ready to join with the slip stitch to our starting stitch of this round and fasten off. So each side should have a total of 96 stitches. That will be two chain seven spaces, five of these chain 14 spaces, and 12 double crochet along each side. Round 50 using color J again. We will start in any of the chain two corner spaces working into round 47 stitches. So we will start with two double crochet in that corner space. So that's one and two double crochet to start. Chain two and two more double crochet in that corner space. Then we will double crochet in each of the next seven stitches, being careful to use the first stitch as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now on the seventh double crochet, We'll insert into the stitch, then we also want to make sure we insert under that chain 7 space from last round and then close that with this stitch. So 7 double crochet, making sure we grab the chain 7 from behind from last round as well. Okay, we want to work into this chain 2 space from round 47. We'll make 2 double crochet and be careful not to include any of the chains from last round in that, just the round 47 chain space. So we're going to double crochet in these next six stitches. As we do, we want to make sure that our hook goes under both of the chain 14 from the previous two rounds. And pull through to the front. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you may see them a little bit, that's okay. So we'll repeat that for a total of 10 times. So that's the two double crochet in the chain two space, just the chain from round 47, and double crochet in the six double crochet, making sure our hook goes underneath those chains from 46 or from 48 and 49 as well on each of these six double crochet. Two, three, four, five and six. So we have done that repeat twice. We'll want to do that a total of 10 times down the side and I'll meet you just before the corner. So after our six or 10 repeats of 
those two plus the six double crochet, we will work the two double crochet in the round 47 chain two space. And then we'll work a double crochet in each of these seven stitches, but on the first one only we want to catch that chain seven from last round. Just on the first one, and then the other six double crochet just work into round 47. So that's the three, four, five, six, and seven double crochet. And we should have reached the corner again. Remember the corners are the are the two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. So we'll go ahead and work that down each of the side, remembering as we turn past the corner here, we will work into the first stitch and we'll work seven double crochet. And on the seventh one, we will make sure we grab that chain seven as well from last round. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So as you work your final side, you will work those last seven double crochet, remembering to pick up and close that chain seven space behind and join to our starting double crochet with a slip stitch to fasten off. Each side should have a total of 100 double crochet plus the chain two in the corners. Round 51, we're going to be using color L. We want to work in these little holes or these little spaces that are above the groups of two um, half double crochet that we made in that chain two space. So we want to find the first set of round 48. So from the corner, it's not this first little window, but it's the second. And we can see how there's a space or a hole at the top of that. We want to pull that chain 14 from round 48 through that hole a little bit. And into that chain, we are going to work five double crochet. So I've pulled my chain 14 from round 48 through the hole underneath round 50, insert the hook and work five double crochet around that chain. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And then we will chain 11, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 chains. Okay, then we'll skip this next window and to that next window. So mine is the light blue round. I'm always looking for that color. Pull that chain through again, that little hole, and oops, need to work five double crochet around that chain that we pull through the hole. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you will chain 11 again. Okay, so we want to have five sets of these five double crochet with the chain 11 after them. So you can work the rest of those sets and I'll meet you just before the next corner. So when you've worked your five double crochet down the side, 
and a chain 11 after that. We're going to fold over that corner again and we want to slip stitch on top of the slip stitch that's already in that corner from those chains. So we just find that slip stitch and make a slip stitch around that as well. And chain 11. 11. And then we're ready to work down the side again. Remember not using that first little window, but it's the second one, pulling that chain through and working five double crochet. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around and I'll meet you just before we join at the end of this round. When you've worked down the last side, you will make that slip stitch in that final corner, chain 11, and then we can join to our starting double crochet in that first group of five oops, to finish off round 51. So have you guessed what we're working on right now? We are making our little Peter Pans along the side. So each side should have a total of five of these shells of five double crochet each, 66 chains for a total of 91 stitches plus that slip stitch in the corner. Round 52, using color J again, we will start in any of the chain two corner spaces. With, we will start with two double crochet, one and two double crochet in the chain two corner space. Chain two and two more double crochet in that same space. So we're going to skip this first stitch and then working down the side, we will double crochet in each of the next 16. So that's one and two double crochet. And we're being careful to not, um, so we're working in front of these chains from last round. So they're one, two, three, four, 15 and then 16 we are going to work around that chain 11 space from last round so we can close it in the 16th double crochet. Working behind this shell of five double crochet we want to work in the next three stitches. So it's the same color round behind that shell from last round. So three more double crochet behind. And then we want to double crochet in the next 13 double crochet, but we're going to enclose this chain 11 as we do that. So we will yarn over, put your hook under that chain 11 first, and finding the next double crochet there, we will double crochet around or over that chain 11. So it'll be 13 double crochet, that's two, three, 11, 12, and 13 double crochet, that 13th one might be slightly hidden by this next group of five. So 13 double crochet and closing that chain 11 from last round between the two groups of five double crochet. So we'll start again with those three double crochet behind the shell and not working over any other chains. So one, two, and three double crochet. And then we'll start in the next double crochet here, 
but working around the chain again for 13 double crochet. So we'll repeat that of the three behind and 13 double crochet for a total of four times. So you can go ahead and do that now. When you've worked those four repeats of the three double crochet plus the 13 double crochet, we will work the three double crochet behind that last shell. One, two, and three double crochet. And then we're going to double crochet in the next 16 stitches. But on this very first one, we want to make sure that we insert our hook under that chain 11 as well behind, but just on that first double crochet. And then on the rest of the 16, we will just double crochet in each of those stitches. So that's four, Ten. five, 15 and 16 double crochet which should be in that last stitch before our chain to corner space. So then you can start ahead again with the corner two double crochet chain two two double crochet in the corner space and working the side as we did this first side. So you can go ahead and work all of the three sides and I'll meet you just before we join at the end. When you've worked your way down the final side after that last 16 double crochet, you will join to our starting double crochet to finish this round. Each side should have a total of 103 double crochet plus those chain twos in the corner. Round 53 using color A. We want to start with a slip stitch in the 12th double crochet from any chain two corner. So I have marked my 12th stitch there, so we're skipping the first 11 double crochet and into the 12th stitch we will slip stitch to join. So we're going to be using round 48, the chain 14. That is my light blue round. You can see from the back there. So we're going to actually turn our work so wrong side is facing. And then fold the edge of our work over so the right side we can see, but it's upside down from where we normally work. And then we want to pull that chain 14 from round 48 through to the front. So like I said, that's my light blue round or in our half double crochet windows, it's the color of the second window under the start of Peter Pan's head. So we've pulled that chain 14 through to the right side. After our slip stitch, we were to chain two. And then working from the edge of the blanket towards the center of the blanket, we will insert our hook through that chain 14 loop that we pulled through or under the chain and we'll work five trebles into that chain that we pulled through. Two, three, four, and five. Chain two. Okay, and then we're going to turn our work again so the right side is now facing us. So we're working a front post double crochet five together. The chain two counts as our first part of that five together. So around the next treble, we'll make a partial front post double. And we'll do that around the remaining three. So it's yarn over, insert your hook from the front around that treble, 
pull a loop up, yarn over, pull through two. You should have three loops on your hook now. Yarn over, around the post, pull through two, four loops on hook, yarn over, around the post, pull through two, five loops on hook, Pull through all of those loops and we're going to chain one to close. Then we want to go back and slip stitch into that same stitch where we started with a slip stitch. So that 12th double crochet from the corner, we go back in and slip stitch in there. We're going to chain 15. Remember to make these loosely. 3, 4, 13, 14, and 15 loose chains. We're going to skip 15 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and into the next stitch. We will make that slip stitch again, chain two, ready to work another Tinkerbell. As a reminder again, we're going to pull or turn our work so the back side is facing us, fold it over, find that, there it is, that chain 14 loop and we want to pull it to the front. There we go. And into that we'll make those five treble. One, two, yarn over. So that was my first treble. The second treble. third treble, fourth, and the fifth treble all worked into that chain 14 that we pulled to the front, chain two, turn back right side facing, and then we will work those partial front post double crochet around each of the trebles, not working the first treble, so the chain two is already there. I'll try that again. So around the first one, we just pull through two, leaving two loops. Front post double crochet around the next treble, pull through two loops, three loops left on the hook. Front post double, four loops left on the hook, front post double, five loops left on the hook, yarn over, pull through all five, chain one to close. Slip stitch back into that same double crochet behind the stitch that we already worked a slip stitch and then chain 15 loosely. Okay, and so on. So we will work those six of these Tinkerbells down the side and I will meet you at the end of our sixth one. So after our sixth little Tinkerbell, instead of chaining 15, we want to just chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll be skipping those last 11 double crochet before the corner and then folding over this corner we are going to find those slip stitches that we've been making in the corner and add another slip stitch to the top of those. Chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, and eight. And then we're ready to start working down the next side. Slip stitching in that first marker. Chain two, and then turning our work to work the tinkle bells as we did for the first side. So you can go ahead and repeat that around and I will meet you just before the end of this round. So finishing up your last side, you will do the chain eight in the corner, slip stitch on top of those corner slip stitches in the back of the work, chain eight, and then come across to where we joined our first one and then just through the loops of that first slip stitch. Oops. We will slip stitch two there to join and end off this round. So each side will have those six Tinkerbell with those chain 15 in between each of those. And then the two chain eights in the corner. Round 54 using color F, we are going to be making it the hat on our Peter Pan. So we'd like to start behind the corner in those corner slip stitches that we have been working on. So in the slip stitch, we will make a slip stitch. Chain 15 and loosely again, 1, 2, 14, Three. and 15. Then we'll work the five front post double crochet across these five stitches or that shell that we had worked in round 51. So we yarn over, go around the post of that first stitch, yarn over, pull through two, leaving two on our hook. And we'll repeat that four more times. So three loops on the hook, four loops on the hook, five loops, six loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all six loops and chain one to close. That chain one doesn't count as a stitch. Then we'll chain 15 again, keeping them loose. Five, 14, and 15 chain. And then we'll go over to that next group of five or that next shell and work the front post double crochet, the five front post double crochet together, working around each of those stitches in the shell. I'm pulling through all six loops, chain one to close. So I'll repeat that down the side and I'll meet you just before the corner again. So along the side you'll have worked five of these Peter Pan hats. After the last one on the side, you chain 15 loosely. And then we'll go back behind that corner again to work that slip stitch in those corner sets of slip stitches. Chain 15, 14, 15, and then ready to work down the next side. So when you've completed your final side with this last hat, you'll have chained 15, and slip stitch to the corner where we started. So slip stitching to our starting slip stitch to fasten off. Each side should then have a total of the six of these chain 15 spaces, including the one back by the corner, and these five front post double crochet hats.
Round 55, we want to just remind ourselves of the different colors for the last few rounds. We will be working into round 52, which is my blue round. We'll also be working using some of the stitches of 53, which is the Tinkerbell round, so mine is yellow. And 54, the last round, Peter's hat, so mine is green. So just make sure you're aware of which colors are which so we can easily find where to place these stitches. So we want to use color J for round 55. And starting in any of the chain two corner spaces, we will place two double crochet. One and two double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochet. One and two. So it's our new corner, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. We'll double crochet in the next 11 stitches, being careful to work into this first stitch as well. So one, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, and eleven double crochet. And that last stitch should be in the stitch just before we worked the slip stitches in round 52, round 53, I mean. So we are going to make a front post double crochet around both of the slip stitches. So just go around behind, pull the yarn through to finish that double crochet for the front post double around the slip stitches at the top of Tinkerbell. So skipping the stitch we worked the slip stitches into, we are going to double crochet in the next seven stitches and we want to enclose this chain 15 of round 53 as we work. So seven double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six double crochet. Now on the seventh double crochet, we want to insert in the stitch, go under the yellow chain 15 and the chain from last round, the Peter Pan, so the chain 54 one as well. Pull your yarn through all of those to finish the seventh double crochet. And then we're going to work a front post double crochet around the top of this front post double crochet five together. So at the top of Peter's hat, we will work that front post double crochet around. Then we're going to skip that stitch one stitch behind the hat and working in the next seven double crochet and underneath both of the chain spaces of 53 and 54 we'll double crochet in seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So front post double around those slip stitches at the top of Tinkerbell, so around round 53, front post double. Okay, and we'll work into the next seven, so skipping the stitch that the slip stitches are in and working into the next seven, and this time working with both of those chains as well 
double crochet in seven. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It's a little bit hidden there behind. There it is, seven. And then we'll work that front post double around the top of the five together front post double at the top of Peter's hat and continue on down the side. Remember to skip that one stitch behind and working in the next seven. Okay, so from, from the front post double across to the next Peter is one repeat. So we want to do that a total of four times and then I'll join back in with you again after we've repeated this a total of four times. So I finished my four repeats. We will do another front post double around the top of that five together stitch at Peter's hat. So skipping the stitch behind we'll work this next double crochet in the next stitch and around both of the chains and then we'll make six more double crochet, but this time just using the chain from round 53 as well, keeping the chain from round 54 free at the back. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the first double crochet past Peter's hat was around both of the chains and then the next six just around the chains from 53. Front post double around those two front post slip stitches or those two slip stitches. Then skipping the stitch with the slip stitch. We'll double crochet in the next stitch including that chain as well from round 53 and then we'll double crochet in the next 10 but we're not going to double crochet over the chain as we work these 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten double crochet and then we're ready to work our corner again of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So we'll work that around all of the sides. Just a reminder as we get close to the corner we have those ten double crochet and the double crochet that's closest to the Tinkerbell is worked around the chains of round 53 as well. So that's for both corners. Starting from this side we work 10 double crochet and then that one just before Tinkerbell we work around the chain. Front post double crochet around the top of the Tinkerbell hair and then we're working the double crochet, seven double crochet and on the seventh one, the one just before we get to Peter, we will enclose the chain from round 54 as well. And then all the double crochets until the last Peter hat, we will be working around both of the chains. So you can go ahead and complete those sides and I'll meet you just before the join. Finishing out my last few double crochet of the final side, that's number 9, 10, and 11 double crochet which should take us to our starting stitches that double crochet in the corner to finish off round 55 so there should be 96 double crochet 
plus 11 of the front post double crochet on each side, a total of 107 stitches with the one chain two space. Round 56, we are going to start outlining and for our fairy wings for Tinkerbell. So this is the part, my white part, that we're going to be working. So before we begin doing that, we want to set some stitch markers in appropriate places to help us find this. So I have marked the first one on this side. So you're going to follow along with me to mark that. The first one is slightly different, the second marker. So once we're done our first one, I'll help you set up the second one as well. And then you'll be able to finish the side for outlining these wings. So the first thing we want to take mention of is all of my blue rows here. So the last one we worked is round 55. My second one down from the top is round 52 and then 50 and 47. We also need to be aware on yours what color is round 46 and 45. So we'll be referring to those round numbers often. We are going to find, start from any of our chain two corner spaces and we wanna start in the 10th double crochet from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So that's where we're gonna put our first stitch marker. And then we want to work two rows below. So two of the blue rounds below. So this is round 50. So if to mark this first one, this is where it's a bit different. This is our round 47 chain two space. We want the fourth double crochet. So not counting those two in the corner. One, two, three, four double crochet on the round 50. We'll mark that one. And then round 47, we want the third double crochet before this gap just under Tinkerbell's head. One, two, three, double crochet, we'll put a marker there. The next marker is going to be around the half double crochet on round 46. That's worked into that treble of round 45. So around the half double crochet of round 46. Then back to round 47, the third double crochet from this gap by Tinkerbell's head. One, two, three, put a marker there and then directly above it on this round here, we will mark that stitch, which is the fourth one before this gap over here. One, two, three, four. And then we will skip, we skip eight in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then in that ninth stitch, of round 55 from that first marker is where we'll put the ending marker. So those are the first set of markers to outline the first set of wings around Tinkerbell. So we're going to be using color G. We are going to put a single crochet in that first marker, which is the 10th double crochet from the corner. Then we will chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we come down to where our next marker is and do a front post slip stitch around there. So the front post slip stitch, you insert from the front, go around the back of that stitch, pull the yarn through and through the loop on your hook chain four. And then coming down to the next marker, front post slip stitch again. Chain 
chain six. And then we want to make a front post slip stitch around this half double crochet in the treble. But this time we want to insert our hook backwards or working from the far side, if you're right-handed, from the left side to the right. So inserting backwards to what we're used to working. But that was a front post slip stitch again. Chain six. front post slip stitch around the next marker and again working from the far side or working backwards chain four one two three and four and then same thing around the next marker working backwards for that front post slip stitch chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then single crochet in that last marker back up on round 55. So that is the outline for our first wing. So now I'm going to help you set up the next wing as that one marker is slightly different than what we did. So you will skip six on this round 55, one, two, three, four, five, six, and work into that next stitch, which should be the fourth double crochet before the front post double around Tinkerbell. And then we want to look two rows down and place a marker around that stitch. Then the next marker should go directly below that. It should be the third stitch from the gap, which is the one that is attached to the top of the flame. And then we'll mark that half double crochet in round 46 that's in the treble of round 45. And then come back to round 47. We want to mark the stitch that is the third one past the gap, one, two, three. And then directly above that, this stitch, which should be the fourth from the next gap. Oops, this one here. One, two, three, four. So the one that is worked into the stitch that we marked down there. And then we skip the eight. Where's my marker? We skip eight across the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And into the ninth one, which should be the third stitch before the front post on Peter Pan's head. So you will work this set of markers and do the chains in the same way, chaining six. So where we left off, we will chain six, two, three, four, five, and six. And then working single crochet in the stitch that's marked on round 55. Chain six. front post slip stitch down around this next marked stitch. Chain four. Front post slip around the next marked stitch. Chain six again. And then working in this bottom mark stitch and up the side, remember we do those backwards front post slip. Oops. 
Oops. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The backward slip stitch around that next marker. Chain four. So we just need to remember when it's only one round apart from each other, right here and right here. Those are the only two places that we use the chain four. The rest is chain six. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And single crochet up on the marked stitch up there. Okay, so you can work your way down this first side, putting markers there. I will help you on this very last one again on this side before the corner, it's slightly different. So I'll help you mark that last one as well. You can go ahead and work down the side and I'll see you soon. So just before the corner on this first side, I've started marking in the usual spots as we did the other ones. So when we come back up after we've marked that half double crochet in the treble, and we come up and we mark the next stitch of round 47, the third from the gap. So this next one directly above would be this stitch. We want to move over one stitch more for this one before the corner. Okay, so instead of the stitch that's worked into this one that's marked here, we're going to move towards the corner one stitch. And then up on the round 55, it'll be the same with those eight skip, skipped stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And insert in the next. which should leave eight double crochet unworked. Okay, so you can go ahead and work the wing outlined here and I'll meet you when you get back up to this stitch. Okay, so to work the corner, after we've done that last single crochet up on round 55, we will chain six, three, four, five, six. And then what we want to do is single crochet on round 52 in between the double crochet that are in the corner. So you can see here how I'm inserting my hook there and down and around that chain two. Oops, there we go. To make that single crochet you can hardly see it from the front, but it's in that corner space. So it's the chain two space of round 50 in between those two double crochet. And then chain six, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'd be ready to start our sides all over again. So remembering the 10th stitch or the 9th stitch from the corner, so it's the 4th double crochet before the front post double of that first Tinkerbell where we make our single crochet. And then we start working down the other sides outlining these wings. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around and I'll meet you just before we finish off this round. So when you've worked down your final side, you'll have done the chain six and that single crochet between the double crochet of round 52 into round 50 chain space. Chain six, and then we can go ahead and join to our starting single crochet to fasten off this round.
round 57 we're going to be working on making these fairy wings. I've chosen to do two different colors of wings. You certainly don't need to do that. You can just pick the color that you prefer. <clears throat> color E was suggested in the pattern. So before we begin these we want to mark a few stitches to help for placement. So looking at the first Tinkerbell past the corner <clears throat> the first stitch that I want you to place a marker around is going to be down on sorry down on round 50 and you are going to place the marker around the double crochet that's worked into the first of the double crochets from round 47 before that gap or that space so the double crochet that's worked into the double crochet just before the gap we'll place our first marker. Then the second marker we want to place around that half double crochet that's worked into the treble where we already have worked a front post slip stitch. And then the next marker is back on round 50 and it's in the double crochet that's around this or worked into that second double crochet So those three points are handy to mark before we start our wings. Then we will come back up from there and work into the single crochet just before where we made that single crochet last round. So once you have those marked, you can grab your working yarn and we'll get started. Okay, so we are going to start in the corner space just before where we marked our stitches for our first fairy wings. We are going to work into that single crochet we did last round so I'm just folding that corner over to find the single crochet that we worked into the corner space and we're going to make a popcorn in that single crochet. So the popcorn is made with five double crochets, one two, three, oops, four, and five double crochet. Remove the loop from the hook, insert hook in the first double crochet, put the loop back on the hook, pull through, and chain one to close. And that chain one doesn't count as a stitch, but now we will chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven chains. So now we will poke or push that popcorn through that space in the corner to come through the front side. So we'll skip these first eight stitches in round 55 and working in the stitch just before where we've worked that single crochet we will make a single crochet in that stitch. We want to make sure that we're working in front of this chain that came from the corner so it's behind our work. So single crochet in that last stitch before the single crochet from last round. And then we want to work a front post single crochet around that front post single, single, keeping the chain six out of the way on this side. And then moving this vertical chain six over, we'll skip the stitch that we just worked around and into the next stitch we'll place a single crochet. So we had a single crochet, front post single, and single crochet with this chain six between the front post and the last single we made. Okay, so from there we will chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll work a front post slip stitch around this first marked stitch. And you can remove the marker. Chain five, one, two, three, four, 
five. And then coming down to that half double crochet that we have marked, we'll make a front post slip stitch around that, working above the front post slip stitch that is already there from last round. And chain five. Four and five chains. And then coming back up the other side, in our next marked stitch, we'll work a front post slip stitch around there. Okay, and this time it doesn't matter, last, last round we worked backwards on this side of the Tinkerbell, it doesn't matter for this round. And then chain six, three, four, five, and six. And then working back up onto round 55, we're skipping these six stitches and working into that last one before where we worked the single crochet last round. We'll make another single crochet. Okay, and then this time keeping this chain six over, we'll front post single around that single crochet and then single in the next stitch of round 55, keeping that chain six behind our work. So single crochet in that stitch, but in front of that chain six. So that's our first step of putting the fairy wings on. Now we want to flip our work over to the wrong side And then working into the single crochet that we just made, we are going to do that S pico. So we single crochet in the single crochet that we had just made, chain three, and then in the base of the single crochet around that front loop and the loop on the back. So around the side of that single crochet, we insert our hook and yarn over pull up a loop to finish a single crochet. So it's a side or an S pico. Then we'll skip the front post single and work another S pico in that next single crochet. One, two, three, and finish it with single crochet in those side legs or loops. So then we're going to be working down. So if we fold the right side over so we can see that, we're gonna be working around these chains that we just made. So in this first chain six, we are going to make two S pico. One, two, three. And one more in that same chain space. And then in this front post slip stitch, we will make an S pico in there as well. One, two, three. Two of the S pico in this next chain space. It's one and one more. And then in this front post slip stitch, just at the base of the Tinkerbell head, we will make a single crochet in there. And then turning a bit to work up the other wing, we'll make two S pico in this chain five space.
an SPCO in this front post slip stitch. To SPCO in that next chain space. One and two. And then working up on the top part, we will make an S pico in that first single crochet. Oops. I'll try that again. I think my single crochet was too tight. go and skipping the front post single crochet and working in that next single crochet we'll make an SP co there as well so we'll continue on but we're going to turn our work back to the right side And there you can see how our SP Co have started the first wing. We're going to come work back down around and this time we're working in the chains from round 56, our previous round. So we'll single crochet and chain three in this first space. And one more time in that same space, single crochet chain three. We'll single crochet in this front post slip stitch, chain three, and single crochet in the chain four space. We'll skip this next front post slip stitch and into this next chain three space or chain six space we will chain three and single crochet three times. So chain three, single crochet, that's twice, chain three, single crochet, that's three times. Then we will single crochet in this middle front post slip stitch. That's at the base of Tinkerbell's head. And then in the next chain six space, we will single crochet chain three, three times. So that's once, single crochet, chain three, that's twice, and one more time in that space, single crochet, chain three. So that's three times. We'll skip this next front post slip stitch and we'll single crochet into that chain four space. Chain three and single crochet in this next front post slip stitch. and chain three and single crochet in that next space twice. So that's one time, chain three, single crochet for two times. Then chain three and working back up on the side where we worked that first SP co into that very first single crochet 
on this edge, we want to slip stitch around this leg and the leg at the back. So around the side legs. So there's one. I need to turn mine a bit. So that front leg and through to the back. So there's the two legs on the hook and we'll slip stitch through that. And that is our very first set of wings on our fairies. So it's a very lovely effect. You might want to make yourself a pot of coffee and sit down while you work on these fairy wings. So just before I let you work ahead, um, we do need to now chain four. One, two, three, four. And you would skip these next four stitches, one, two, three, four, and working into this last stitch before that single crochet of last round, you would place your single crochet to start the next wing. So you can work the wings of the fairies all along this side. I'll meet you at the end of this side to show you how to get into the corner again from our last wing. You can go ahead with that. Um, now I chose to alternate my colors. So I switched to the new color before I change chain four between the wings. And then I'm just carrying the other color along the back and we'll be working over that next round. So you don't need to do that, but that's just how I worked my changing colors for the fairy wings. So go ahead and complete this side and I'll meet you at the next corner. So when you're working the last wing before the corner, we will join to that first single crochet again with a slip stitch. I'm still changing my colors here. There we go. And then we chain, we chain the four. We're going to skip all of these stitches here, chain three more, and then we're ready to work that popcorn behind the corner in that single crochet from last round. So we're working those five double crochet in the popcorn or in the single crochet to form a popcorn. So that's one, two, three, four and five double crochet in that corner single crochet. Insert your hook in the first stitch, pull that loop through, chain one to close, and then we'll chain seven, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then remember how we push that popcorn through that corner space to the right side and then ready to work down the side again single crocheting in that last stitch before that single crochet from last round and continue on with our fairy wing So when you finished your final set of wings, after we have joined those, um, the second part of the wings to that first part, we will chain four plus three more for a total of seven chain. And then we can go ahead and join to the back of the popcorn. with a slip stitch and fasten off. There's a note in the written pattern that if desired, you can take a needle and thread and you can fix or attach this lower part of the wing to the blanket to fasten it down a little bit more if you prefer that look. 
So that's optional, you can go ahead and do that if you wish. Round 58 using color K. We are going to start in the second double crochet of round 55 just after any of the chain two corner spaces. So we're skipping that first double crochet after this space, starting in the second double crochet with a double crochet. And then we'll double crochet in each of the next six stitches. Three, four, five. So with that one, we'll have made a total of six double crochet. We want one more, and on this double crochet, we are going to go through this chain three space on the back side of the wing. So yarn over, go through that space, and then into that last double crochet. Pull the yarn through and finish the double crochet. Chain two. Okay, we're gonna skip over the tips of these wings here and we're going to double crochet in the same stitch where we already have a single crochet. So we'll be double crocheting in eight. Oops. So just after the single crochet that's already in that stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then this eighth one is just in front of the single crochet that's already in that stitch. Okay, now because I used two colors for my wings, I'm going to be working over top of my extra color that I carried through. So that may look a little bit different than yours because I used the two colors on my wings. So we did the seven double crochet, chain two, and then we did the eight double crochet working in the same stitch as those single crochet in the first and the last of that group of eight. Chain two and we're gonna skip the two stitches at the top of the wing there. We are going to make four double crochet in these four stitches between the wings. Now what we first do, we yarn over for a double crochet. We also want to insert our hook under the chain three of the wing and into that stitch. We're also going to enclose the chain four from last round and the chain from the previous round so our hook goes under all of those, pull the yarn through, and finish the double crochet, enclosing the chain three and those other two chains behind. And then we'll finish, make two and three double crochet, always working underneath those two chains from behind. And then in this last one, we yarn over first and I kind of use my hook to pull that chain three over so I can have my hook in the chain three as well as under the stitch and enclosing those chains behind. Okay, so those four double crochet, we're working under a lot of chains in the first and the fourth, we're also um, enclosing the chain three from the wing. So we'll repeat that for a total of five times. So that's a chain two, skip the wing, and we'll make eight double crochet, the first one in the same stitch where the single crochet is already. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this eighth one again is in the same stitch where there's already a single crochet, eight double crochet. Chain two, skip the tip of the wing, making four double crochet, so we yarn over, insert in the chain three, and then in the stitch, making sure we enclose the two chains from the two previous rounds. Oops. Pull the yarn through, and then finish the double crochet, pushing the tip of the wing to the front. Then we'll work two more double crochet over top of those chains from the previous round. And then the fourth double crochet, pull that over to find our stitch so that we're in the chain three and under the other two chains to complete the fourth double crochet. So you can repeat that set of eight plus four double crochet three more times and I'll meet you just before the corner. When you've done the repeat five times down the side, there'll be one fairy left on your side. So we will make the chain two, skip over that wing again, and those eight double crochet, the first one in the same stitch where there's a single crochet already. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, again in that same stitch where there's already a single crochet. Chain two, okay, then we will double crochet in each of these seven double crochet, and that first one we want to insert under the chain three of the wing as well, and into the stitch to complete our first double crochet, and then the next six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven double crochet. which should bring us to that corner space. So then we'll chain three, and we want to work a front post treble, so we're gonna yarn over twice, and we're going to work it around this popcorn. So in front of our work, down to the popcorn, making sure we're behind that first double crochet and out the other side of the popcorn. Pull that yarn through, and then finish the treble crochet. and chain three. Then ready to work down our sides again. Remembering on this side we're going to skip that first double crochet and working into the second one is where we start our seven double crochet, remembering to attach the wing as well. So you can go ahead and work around the other three sides and I'll meet you here just at the end of this round. So once you've worked your way around all four sides, you will want to make sure on this final side, there we go, that wing was tucked under, um, that you work your seven double crochet along the edge, chain three and the front post treble, chain three and then you join with a slip stitch to our starting double crochet to end this round. Each side will have 84 double crochet, 12 chain two spaces, two chain three spaces, and then that front post treble in the corner.
Round 59 is an optional round to add this feather in Peter Pan's hat. So if you wish to do that, we're going to take a piece of Color C yarn threaded through a darning needle, and we're going to work it, so I knotted mine at the bottom, so we're working with two strands of yarn. So working from the back, we want to attach our yarn or pull our yarn up through by the tip of Peter Pan's hat on our work. And then go down around the fourth of this five together. One, two, three, four. This way. And so then you can see how we have this vertical line to work around and we're just going to insert underneath those two strands and we're going to go around three times. So it's once, twice, I'm going to make sure I pull that first one tighter. And one more time, three times. And then we'll go back down, close to that starting point, through to the back side again. For our first feather in Peter Pan's hat. So then if you wish, you can just carry your yarn through underneath these double crochets at the back. until you get to the next hat. Like so. And then coming in from the back through the top of the hat. Oops, I keep, there we go, don't want to knot it. And then down around that fourth, oops, the fourth double crochet of the hat to create the vertical line and wrapping around three times. One, two, and three, and back out to the back side. And we have Peter Pan now has a feather in his hat to match. So you can continue to work that around if you wish and then just fasten off and tie in those ends as normal. Also optional for this round is to um, use some yarn to help the hair of Tinkerbell form this bun right there. So again taking um, the color of your choice, uh, J is suggested and using a double strand of yarn we are going to go in from the back side right above where the top and the bottom meet so where these two stitches these stitches are joined into the bottom stitches okay so this time we're going to take a piece of double thread and I'm just using a needle to help demonstrate we're just going to wrap this thread around the back of the bun make a knot oh boy. and then wrap put those ends back through to the back side of our work okay it's around a double crochet back there and then make a double knot back here as well. Like so. So you can go ahead and work that down the side, making those little buns on Tinkerbell along each of those fairies if you wish.